Here at Anderson Seed and Garden, we pride ourselves on having the best artificial Christmas trees you can find anywhere. I have tons of different styles and sizes for you to choose from, ranging from you know four and a half foot all the way up to 12 foot and everything in between. We have them pre-lit, we have them without lights, and we can custom light the trees as well too. We can put whatever color lights you'd like on them so we can put purple or multicolored or uh, gold or candy cane. I mean, we've got a lot of different lights, both in LED and in standard incandescent. But we've got a new thing this year, which I'm going to show you right now, and this is called an easy lit tree. And this is one of the best things I've ever seen when it comes to Christmas trees. And this is the, the newest, basically some of the newest technology that's available for an artificial Christmas tree. We've got a box that's, uh, we just got to cut open here, and I'll show you how easy these trees are to set up. Now, one of the great things about the easy lit trees is the power cord goes right up through the stand. And so we've got an on off switch, we've got an, an extension cord, and it's all built right into the stand. And one of the features that I really, really like about these is there's an outlet built right into the stand so you can plug other accessories into your stand as well as lighting up the tree all with one power cord. And this is a heavy duty power cord. It can handle a lot of extra lights as necessary. But when you're setting your tree up, be sure <coughs> to tighten your stand up before you do it. And it always helps if you plug it in. I don't know how many times I've been out to somebody's home to try and help them figure out why their Christmas tree's not working and uh, realize that the tree's not plugged in and or turned on. with this tree usually has a tag on there that tells you which piece it is that's our bottom piece so as uh, actually a middle piece let's grab the bottom piece there's our bottom piece all right so there's a tag on there that says a that's the first piece that goes in just slides into the stand and it's already lit can you see that the lights are already on it next piece is piece B and as it goes into the stand, it lights the rest of the tree up. And when we put the top on, it's going to do the same thing. That's a seven and a half foot Belgium easy lit tree right out of the box. And look how nice that looks. It's already lit up and that took me all of what, 30 seconds to set that tree up and light it. I'm really picky when it comes to trees and so we're always looking for the best quality trees. All of our trees are built essentially the same way, not with the easy light system, but whether it's a pre-lit tree or whether it's a tree we custom light. They're all built with heavy duty tips that can be adjusted and bent. So you can take those tips, you can bend them, you can move them, and it's a heavy gauge wire in there so it can handle many, many years of this. And they're also durable and strong enough to hold an ornament. So you put some heavy ornaments on there, it's going to be able to handle the weight of your tree. Each of the branches is made with a heavier gauge steel and we have steel hinges on all the trees so the trees just all fold up like an umbrella but when those branches fall down they're strong enough to withstand the weight of whatever you want to put on the tree and it's also not going to crack or break the hinges on the trees where a lot of the less expensive ones you'll see will have plastic hinges and so after three or four years they start to become brittle all of a sudden they're cracking and breaking and then you've got branches that are falling off your tree so all of our trees have heavy duty metal stands heavy duty metal hinges heavy gauge metal wire for the branches and for the tips. They're just a much nicer quality. And when it comes to a tree like a like an easy lit tree it doesn't get any easier than that to light up your tree. So come into Anderson's. We've got a lot of different styles and sizes to choose from and uh, we'll show you how all the trees work, especially the easy lit tree. And uh, we'd be glad to spend some time with you and make your holiday season a lot easier.
been some amazing new innovations with uh, holiday lighting over the last couple years. And here at Anderson Seed, we have probably the newest and the most innovative and also one of the coolest things that you've ever seen, and it's called Lightstream. Now, Lightstream is a method to, to put lights on your home, uh, inside or out, and be able to control the colors that it creates. So we've got them set up right here behind me. So these are the these are the light stream bulbs, and uh, they are LED, and so they consume a very minimal amount of electricity. Uh, for for each bulb, we're talking point. Two watts of electricity per bulb is approximately what it uses. So we're, we're not talking very much electricity. And uh, since they're all LEDs and they have a hard plastic exterior to them, you you. You know, you can't you can't break them, so they're 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 not glass, they're plastic, so they're they're not going to break. So you've got greater durability. They're going to last a lot longer, and they never burn out, which is really cool. But what's great about the light stream is uh, you can control them with your phone. So with your phone, you can set a schedule when they're going to turn on, when they're going to turn off, and you can also control what lights they're going to be. So right now they're set for for all green, and let's say for the holidays, I want them to be all green. And then on Wednesday, I would like them to be all red. So we can take our, our, our just a, a standard uh, Apple iPhone and, uh, you know, you can right here, you can turn the power on and off. But right here, we can set our color and our theme. And right now, they're set for all green. And you can create your own themes and, and set your own color schemes. And there's about 18 colors that you can use. But we're going to look at that. And right now, we can choose all green or all red or all warm clear. And I'm thinking for the holidays, uh, I think I want to do all warm clear. So I'm going to click on all warm clear and select that color. And then there's a controller that you put in line you just 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 plug it into the wall and then you plug your lights into it and we're not talking about any special cord or anything you can just use our our bulk wiring and uh, the with the bulk wiring you can custom cut it to your house and then you just screw the bulbs right into it so they'll just they'll just screw in just like a regular standard light bulb and if you have wiring already all you got to do is swap the bulbs out and put the new bulbs in and it will work uh, the same with the same wiring that you've got so it's uh, nothing special about it except the bulbs and the controller so what we've got right here is this is the controller and this is what your phone talks to and it communicates with each of the individual bulbs and it tells them what um, what color to run so right now on my on my phone I'm going to tell it to update the controller and so I'm going to click on that and it takes probably about 30 seconds for it to start thinking about it and it's going to change those colors. So right now it's as it's thinking uh, this controller right here is communicating with each one of the little bulbs and telling it what color it's going to run. So it's going to take a second for it to switch over as it reprograms all those bulbs. Now if you have multiple sets of lights on your house that you've got to to change they have additional controllers that you can pair up with your with your master controller and it will tell this controller or what to do and so if you've got a set of lights on the back of your house or up on the second story of your house that's uh, it's not plugged into the same spot that the the the, the light stream bulbs are it'll it'll still communicate with them even if you have different sets set up look at that now now it's all clear so we can change it from clear uh, let's say on Wednesday it's clear and we're going to keep it clear through the holidays and for Valentine's Day because I'm going to just leave my lights up all the time now because I can just change the colors and have them turn on whenever I want. So for Valentine's Day I'm going to update my controller again and instead of all warm clear uh, let's do let's do all red for Valentine's Day because that, that kind of sounds a little bit more Valentine-y than just, just clear lights and uh, you can just tell it to set it and, and away you go. So down here you can edit your schedule so you can have it do different colors on different days. So if you want to have a different color on Monday and a different color on Tuesday and like, like say green on Monday, red on Tuesday, uh, warm clear on Wednesday and so on. You can have all kinds of different colors throughout the week and uh, like I said it takes about 30 seconds for it to update those colors and uh, all of a sudden it's going to be all red for Valentine's Day. Now we can have all of our lights all red. So you've got to be within about 75 feet of the controller with your Bluetooth device but uh, you know as, as it communicates back and forth it'll all be controlled with your phone and uh, since the bulbs are, 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 are a little bit larger and, uh, and, and 
they show up really really well so this is all new technology with the bulbs and with the with the LEDs in there they'll show off about 18 different colors you can control it right with your Bluetooth device and you can set up any type of schedule any type of color scheme that you want it just takes a few minutes to set it up with your phone and uh, you've got a permanent decorative lighting set up on your home for as long as you'd like to keep them up and you can change the colors anytime any holiday any occasion you can have different lights with the light stream system here at Anderson Seed and Garden You know, there have been some amazing innovations in holiday lighting in the last couple of years, but uh, this has got to be the best one we've seen, and we've got it here at Anderson Seed and Garden, and it's it's called the Light Stream. And uh, what's unique about the Light Stream is, let's say we're putting up our holiday lights, and we're not doing them just for Christmas, but we want to put some, some Halloween lights up, which is really kind of fun to decorate the house for Halloween. So we'd have to, you know, set up our, our, our wiring and uh, you know, put the wire on our house, and then... Uh, maybe put some purple and uh, and some orange lights on uh, just to make it look kind of creepy in Halloween but then for the you know, for, for Christmas, once Halloween's over, we don't want to have purple and orange lights on our house. We want to have, you know, some multicolored lights, you know, something that looks a little bit different. We'd, we'd do like a, a Christmas theme. You know, these are, these are the light stream bulbs. So they, they look very similar to your standard C9 bulbs. So as you can see, it's about the same size as your, as your C9s. But instead of being one solid color, they, they, they change colors. And the great thing about them is they don't just change intermittently they change according to what we want them to so we can actually control the lights with uh, our, our Bluetooth whether it's with a phone or an iPad or a, or a um, you know iPod uh, any type of Bluetooth device that's uh, Apple compatible you can control your light stream lights with it so there's a controller here that picks up the Bluetooth signal and it communicates to each individual bulb and it tells them what color to burn and uh, so you can change the colors at will and uh, the light stream has about 20 different colors available so you can change them to a whole bunch of different colors depending on what holiday it is so right now we've got we've got Christmas lights up but let's say I'm gonna get my lights up and you know these are lights you don't want to put up and take down you want to just Put them up and leave them up all the time because you, you can do all the holidays with it. You can do you know different colors for for Valentine's Day. You can do different colors for St. Patrick's Day or Easter, or you can do bicentennial colors for for the Fourth of July. So you can just leave them up year round and uh, and and just change the colors with your phone. So here's the here's the controller, and uh, right now it's doing Christmas multi. So we can turn the power on and off. It, there we go. We can turn the power on and off. We can change the color scheme. We can turn. We can set up our schedule. So if you wanted to during the holidays, you could have it do a different color every day. You could do a Christmas multi, or you could do solid red, or you could do solid green. And and we've got some of those options in there where you can where you can do you know winter white. You can do all green. You can do all warm clear. You can you can set it up with whatever colors you want. But uh, Let's say we want to do a, a different color scheme. If we go down here to manage the, key, the themes and the colors, uh, we can create a new theme, and uh, we're going to call it Halloween. Spelled Halloween properly. That's always good. And uh, primary color, let's do let's do purple. So first color is going to be purple. Second color is going to be orange. And uh, let's see if we want to do another color in there. So these are all your colors right here. So you can change all those different all those different colors. Uh, I think I kind of like I think I kind of like the orange and the purple. Maybe we'll just keep it that way. But we'll have it alternate orange and purple. And uh, and we've set this up so it's uh, it's got six different channels. And you can you can set up with with multiple channels. As you can see, there's more there's more channels that go all the way through up up to ten channels. So you can have 10 different colors showing at the same time if you want. But we're going to alternate it purple orange, purple orange, purple orange. That's going to be our Halloween theme. And uh, and I'll save that. Now once that's saved, then we'll go up to set our color and our theme and uh, it's probably down here at the bottom. 
Oh, oh, Halloween right there. So Halloween's right there. We're going to select Halloween as our color. And then you push update controller. It takes about 30 seconds for it to update the controller. But you've got to be within about 75 feet of the controller. And if you have multiple sets on your house, let's say we've got uh, your, your main light stream is on the front part of your house, but you want to do one on the back of the house too, and it's got to be plugged into a different outlet. You can uh, you can add a, a smaller controller in, and it will talk to the, the the primary controller, and you can control multiple sets of lights with it, with just the the one controller and a receiver to pick it up. So you can you set it up with 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 two or three different sets. But as you can see, it takes about 20 seconds. But now all of our lights are purple and orange, and purple and orange instead of uh, the the Christmas multicolor that we had there. So this is a setup where we can do it once, put it on your home, and you, and you use just regular holiday lighting wiring and uh, you know green or, or white. You can use your existing wiring already as well too and you just plug your primary controller right in line with uh, with your power and uh, put the light stream bulbs in and you can control the colors all all year long and you don't have to have just holiday lighting. You don't have to climb up and down the ladders or, or get on the roof multiple times during the season to change those bulbs out. You just put the bulbs in one time and you can control them with your Bluetooth device and change the colors and set the schedule uh, to your liking and, uh, and whenever you'd like it to, to, to change colors. You can set that schedule up on your phone and you're good to go. Some great new innovations in Christmas lights, or I don't even have to call them Christmas lights. Outdoor and indoor decorative lighting. How about that? And uh, this year, it's it's amazing the technology and the changes that we've seen just in the last in, in the last year or so on Christmas lights. I'm going to show you how how some of these work. This is just a standard incandescent light set. So this is like your traditional you know holiday lighting that uh, you would use to either decorate a Christmas tree or or uh, you know, your home or whatever. whatever. Uh, one light burns out, the rest stay on. But if one gets broken or pulled out, you know it's going to turn. It's going to turn the whole set off. And uh, these little bulbs, they they burn out. And once they once they burn out, you've got to replace those burnt out bulbs, or otherwise the rest of the set all of a sudden doesn't work. So this is this is what your standard incandescent, you know, warm clear lights going to look like. This is a this is a LED light. And the technology in the LED has, has really, really changed over the last couple of years. The color's a little bit different. This one's, this one's still a, a warm white, but it's a, a little bit brighter. As you can see, it's, it's, it's almost a focused tip, and so it's, it's really, really bright. But the nice thing about the LEDs is they'll burn for 20,000 hours, and you don't have to worry about replacing the bulbs. Uh, they, they, they're, they're hardwired in, so it's much, much less likely to have uh, electrical issues where it doesn't, it doesn't work. It's just it's just going to continue working and working for years and years because you can't you can't pull the individual bulbs out. They're just hardwired in. But since they last for so long, you don't have to worry about replacing those. So as you can see, slightly different color in those, but the intensity it's it's really really bright compared to a regular light set. These are some of the newer micro LEDs that are coming out, and the micros are kind of are kind of unique. This one's on a on a battery, so there's there's two. Triple A, uh, two double A batteries in here. This is a multicolored set, and uh, I mean, it, it will do all kinds of different functions. So uh, it's got like eight different functions. I'm going to set it so it just stays on. There we go. Uh, colors, but look at the look how bright the colors are, and. Uh, they're not as intense. They're they're much they're much softer, and so the colors don't uh, bother your eyes like your like your traditional LEDs. But what's unique about these? There's there's 40 lights to a set, and uh, with the battery pack, you can put them on a wreath or on a garland, uh, you know, especially a wreath on your front door or your house. And uh, it's got a timer on there, so when you set the timer, it will turn on for six hours and then turn off for 18. So every day, if you have it turn on at five o'clock in the 
the afternoon. It will stay on until 11 o'clock at night and then automatically turn itself off and then turn back on at five o'clock the next day. So all throughout the holidays, you could have a battery pack with these LEDs that uses such a small amount of electricity. It'll basically last the entire holiday season from Thanksgiving until about the first of January on just those two batteries and it will turn itself on and turn itself off throughout the entire holiday season so you don't have to worry about it. So you can work this into a wreath and uh, set it and leave it and it'll just magically turn on and off and uh, use almost no electricity whatsoever to get those lights to run. So very nifty <coughs> little, <coughs> little gadget. <coughs> These are very similar except they've got a, a plug on them and uh, these new LED lights these these micro LEDs they are completely waterproof and so uh, they can be outside they can get snowed on you can actually submerge them in water and they use three watts of electricity so they use hardly any electricity and what I like about them is the color on the lights is is so close to the incandescent that you almost can't tell so a little bit closer spacing so they're they're three inches apart instead of uh, the five inches that you would normally see on uh, traditional Christmas light sets. So there's <coughs> in a six inch spacing there's three lights instead of instead of just two. But look how close they are to the incandescent lights in uh, in color. I mean they're they're in intensity. They're almost almost identical to those uh, incandescent lights. And like I said, three watts of electricity. You don't ever have to replace the bulbs. And uh, they're just nice, thin, fine wire that uh, is gonna be easy to work with. We've been lighting Christmas trees with them. And they're just so easy to work with because the comparison between the, the cords. You know, here's your standard LED. And look how much, look how much wiring there is to them. You've got a much heavier wire, and with these, you know, it's it's very very thin. So hardly hardly any wiring to them at all, and uh, minimal power consumption. Beautiful color, so it's got a nice color to it. And these guys will last for 50,000 hours. So not only will they last longer than your standard LEDs, but they're waterproof. You can run them over with your car, and uh, they're almost they're almost indestructible. The other real new innovation this year, and I'm going to see if I can plug this in here as well too. There we go. This is called a cluster light. Now the cluster lights are different and uh, they make decorating so easy and so simple because instead of having, you know, a few lights every every couple inches, this has lights every half inch. And so you've got a much thicker cluster of lights. So you can see that's, that's the wiring right there. So instead of having one light every, every few inches, like on our standard mini LEDs, these have two lights every half inch, and they've got a little bit longer neck on them. And so these are, these are amazing for lighting wreaths or lighting garlands, or you can actually use the whole set just as if it were a garland and put it on your mantle or uh, you know drape it off of a, off of a shelf. And uh, you can use it on a tree just to add a whole bunch of lights into your tree, but they're just so easy to work with. And the lights are all clustered together. And so it's almost like a garland of light. And that's that's the way we look at it. They come multicolored as well as 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 the clear, and they're just so simple and so easy to work with. And uh, again, use a minimal amount of electricity. The lights are are submersible in water. They're virtually you know indestructible, and they last for about fifty thousand hours. So the cluster lights, amazing new technology. And they come in a lot of different sizes as well too. So uh, a lot of lot of variability in how how large of a set you need. We've got a bunch of different sizes in the cluster lights. So some great new innovations in Christmas lighting and uh, outdoor and indoor holiday lighting as well too. But you got to just come in and check out our new micro LEDs because they. They really, truly are amazing and will revolutionize uh, the way we, we light during the holidays.
When it comes to getting decorating ideas, uh, here at Anderson Seed and Garden, we try and have the most innovative, new, and different ideas that we can come up with and show you how to do them. So uh, we've got lots of different elements that you can use to uh, create all kinds of different table displays and wall decor. This is a uh, this is a new thing that we found this year. These come kind of prepackaged with the twigs and the berries and the pine cones, and they're super easy to to, to make look nice. So it's 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 already put together. All you have to do is decide where you're going to put it. So we've we put one into this into this wall cone uh, with a little with a little bow on it. And uh, seriously, we did it in about 60 seconds. It doesn't take very long to put them together. And I've got all kinds of, of different styles of uh, it's kind of a natural twiggy woodsy look to it. And it's uh, very popular this year. A lot of uh, natural themes and ideas are, uh, are seem to be what people are, are are really most interested in this year. One of the a real fun different products we've got this year. They're, they're kind of pre-packaged and uh, I don't even know what to call them. They've got just a, a lot of different elements in there that are, are very decorative and really colorful and it's just super easy to, to throw them together. All you need is a container. You can use a vase, you can use a bowl, you can you can use all kinds of different things and even a basket. But I mean this is, this is as, as difficult as it is to set up. It's all the elements are inside a bath, uh, just just a bag, and you just have to decide what container you're going to put them into. And uh, we can open up our bag here in just a second. Basically, all you've got to do, all you got to do is just drop it in your container, and you're ready to go. The bells are, are really cute. They come in a lot of different colors. So we'll just rearrange them just a little bit. And all of a sudden you've got you know, an instant table, table decoration for the holidays. So lots of different elements to, to choose from here at Anderson's. Uh, of course we've got sticks. Our logs have been super popular this, al this year already, so we've got bundles of logs and all it takes is a bow and a little bit of greenery to spruce them up and make them look amazing. Again, all it takes is about five minutes to throw a bow together with the logs, add a little bit of greenery, all of a sudden you have a nice table or a mantle display and it's very unique and uh, different. Any, different from anything that uh, you can see around and it's something you can create yourself. And uh, there we go. Um, We've got lots of different colors of deco mesh and uh, tons of twigs and picks and ribbon to create all kinds of different uh, beautiful holiday decorations. So we've got a uh, wreath here that we put together, kind of a, a natural harvest look, but uh, very pretty and uh, stands out, be great for a door uh, to put on your front door. It's different than just having your evergreen with a little bit of lights in it. This just has a, a really different look and effect to it. So a lot of different pieces and elements of uh, different decor here at Anderson's. We have a lot of different instructional videos on our webpage on andersonseedandgarden.com that show you how to make the wreaths. And we'll, we'll walk you step by step right through it. You can come in here to the store. We'll show you how to make a uh, log display or some uh, wonderful wall decor. We've got all the elements you need here to be creative and create and decorate your home and uh, beautify it for the holidays. This is a great time of year and one of my favorite things about the holidays is uh, amaryllis bulbs. And we've got a beautiful one that's blooming right now and uh, this is called Charisma. Uh, gorgeous color, it's just barely starting to open so the blossoms are going to get even larger as it develops. But it's, it's really fun to watch the progress of the amaryllis bulbs as they grow. So today I'm going to show you how to plant your own amaryllis bulbs so you can enjoy them inside during the holidays but more importantly after the holidays are over, it's a great time time to have something blooming in the house during January and February and uh, be able to 
feel spring is on its way even though we've got you know three feet of snow outside so a couple of things that you need I always like to have a little piece of uh, either like paper towel or a napkin or something to put in the bottom of my pot and I always use just a, a standard plastic nurseryman's pot I use an azalea type pot which has a flatter bottom so it's it's not as tapered and narrow because as the bulbs develop and they grow and they get taller and bigger and the flowers get really big they're really top heavy so something with a nice stable bottom works great and these pots inexpensive easy to work with and then we can make them look nice once we're all done and I'll show you how to do that so put your paper towel down the bottom the reason we've got the paper towel is because there's holes in the bottom of the pot and we don't want the soil to just like pour out the bottom of the pot so the paper Paper towels there to hold the soil in there as it gets moist as the soil really compacts down it'll start to break down and uh, and that's fine but we just need it temporarily there to hold the soil and the best soil that we've got that we've ever used is this Fertilome ultimate potting mix the uh, ultimate potting mix is a, a great mixture of peat moss vermiculite perlite and humate and it's wonderful for planting plants indoors and also uh, for, for containers and pots and great for amaryllis. So I've got some, I've got some right here. I grabbed my handy dandy scoop and what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill it up part way so that we can get the, the bulb down in the bottom of the pot. So hopefully I don't make a giant mess and get in the soil in here. There we go. Not too, not too bad. All right. Set that aside for a moment. All right, so you can see you can see how light and fluffy and nice that soil is. It doesn't have any bark or twigs or, or junk in it. It's just peat moss, perlite, and vermiculite. So a really nice, light, fluffy soil. Now when you're selecting your bulbs at Anderson's, we have a lot of different colors and a lot of different sizes of bulbs to choose from. So color ranges from you know white to pink to red to burgundy, and there's some orange and peach colors. We've got lots of different colors to choose from. But the bigger the bulb, the more flowers it's going to produce. So we bring in the the biggest bulbs that we can get. This is a this is a 34 centimeter or larger bulb. This is one of the biggest bulbs that uh, you can find around and most places do not carry bulbs that are this large. So you can see in comparison to my hands how large the bulb is. A 34 centimeter bulb like this will produce at least two flower stems with four to six flowers on it. Like this has one, two, three, four. This actually has five flowers on it. This will produce at least two stems like that. And in most cases, it'll produce three. So you're going to get at least two stems of four to six flowers and possibly a third. So you could have anywhere between, you know, eight to 12 to even 15 flowers uh, off of one bulb like this. My bigger bulbs, my jumbo bulbs, they're 40 centimeters or bigger. And you can tell much, much bigger. I mean, the bulbs are just massive. The bigger the bulb, the more flowers you're going to have. So comparison wise, you can see how much bigger this bulb is than our 34 centimeter. The jumbos will produce at least three flower stems with four to six flowers on it. And in most cases, they'll produce four flower stems. It's not unusual to have 16 to 20 flowers off of one bulb like this size. So if you're gonna do a jumbo size bulb like this uh, in a pot, I'd probably start with about an eight inch pot. And with the smaller bulbs, a seven to a seven and a half inch pot seems to, to work perfectly. But this one has a lot of root system on it. So we've got to make a little bit of room down the bottom of our pot. So Filled that up with soil. I can make kind of a, an impression or an indentation down there in the bottom where those where those roots can go. What I like to do is get your bulbs a day or two in advance before you're going to plant them up and soak them in water, just just room temperature water, overnight for 12 to 24 hours. Just just submerge them in water and just let them rehydrate up. And it'll rehydrate. It'll make those roots all nice and plump and thick. And your 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 bulb will produce a lot. Lot better flowers for you if you can do that in advance. So the trick with this one is to make sure not to break those roots and to get them into the pot properly so we can get that bulb positioned right in the middle. So I like that bulb right in the middle if possible. So I'm going to try and position it right there. What I'll usually do is I'll take my soil and I'll kind of work that in around the outside of the bulb so it'll kind of support the bulb as, as I hold it.
if I had a, another hand, I would use the, the scoop to bring the soil over a little bit quicker, but today we only have we only have two hands, so let's see if we can make this work a little bit faster. It's really nice with the bulbs that are big like this is it's fun to kind of see how large the bulb is and they do better if they're sitting a little bit more on the surface so I like to pack that soil in around the roots try not to break or disturb the roots as you're as you're potting it like I said and try and leave about oh half of the bulb exposed from the soil so we don't want to bury it too deep we're going to try and get it just just right so that, that bulb will sit almost right on the surface about 50 percent of the bulb showing out of the soil so as i tuck the soil in around it we're going to reveal a little bit more of the bulb and we're going to make a nice big mess here since those roots are so big I kind of had to plant it a little lopsided but it's really not too bad and that's the way we want it like that so there's our amaryllis bulb about half the bulb showing the other half is buried below the surface and then I like to use a little saucer if I can get my saucer out of here there we go so saucer underneath that way it'll catch your extra water. A little bit of fertilizer for the bulb works great. Uh, Garden Coat 6, one of our favorites from Fertilome. And you'd use maybe about a tablespoon, teaspoon to a tablespoon per amaryllis. We'll just pop this open really quick. Oh, we'll shake about a teaspoon on there. There we go. Just right, you can see the fertilizer sitting there. The Garden Coat 6, as you water it, it will gradu gradually release the fertilizer. So it's about a, a four month release fertilizer. So every time you water, it'll give the plant just a little bit of fertilizer. And once you get it, once you get it planted, you know, if you don't like the look of the plastic pot, we can take it and put in a, a much more decorative, more attractive planter makes a wonderful gift for the holidays and then you get to watch it grow and a lot of times you'll see those bulbs produce flowers in a couple weeks sometimes it takes four weeks sometimes it takes six sometimes they're just a little bit slower sometimes they come along a little bit quicker and once you start to see a flower bud coming up out of the top of the bulb it takes about four weeks for it to bloom and turn into this now sometimes we'll get bulbs in that have buds coming already so this is one of those jumbo bulbs it's got two flower buds coming already that once we plant it up it won't be very long at all it'll only take a week or two for it to start to bloom and we'll be able to enjoy that right away so a lot of fun planting the amaryllis and a great way to enjoy something growing indoors during the winter time and uh, we've got all you need to plant those up here at Anderson Seed. are really a lot of fun and here at Anderson Seed and Garden we try and make them even more fun because of all the the decorations that we've got but one of the, the really fun things we've got here is some artificial snow and it's called snow to go and the snow to go uh, it looks and feels just like snow and when it comes down to it it's it's almost like magic because of the way it, the, the way it works and I'm gonna I'm gonna show you so the snow to go is a is a powder and uh, it's just a little fine granule but when when you add water to it it's it's just like magic you know, if you've ever seen the movie frozen and uh, and Elsa's creating snow all over the place you can basically create snow just like Elsa so all we got to do is add water to it and uh, it just it just works on its own and it just turns into snow like I said, it's it's almost like it's almost like magic. And the fun thing about the the snow to go is you can use it for all kinds of uh, little small miniature villages or miniature gardens. And, and we've we've got some really cute we've got some really cute fairies here. So here's a little gnome you know, ice fishing. And uh, instead of having to put down uh, you know cotton batting or or, or or fill for quilts, you can actually use a product that actually looks like looks like snow and uh, and make a little fairy garden right in there. With the with the snow, so the snow to go comes in uh, in packages. 
about this size and it will make uh, a good volume of snow and we do have it in bulk as well too but um, it comes with its own little scoop all you need to do is put it in a container add some water and all of a sudden you have magic uh, snow almost instantaneously and it really does feel like snow as well as look like snow so snow to go here at Anderson Seed and Garden super easy to, to work with easy to clean up once it uh, dehydrates uh, you can just vacuum it right up so if you the kids are playing with it they spill some on the floor all you gotta do is just vacuum it up and uh, disappears uh, just like regular snow as well too so snow to go here at Anderson Seed and Garden lots of holiday fun Winter Wonderland is here at Anderson Seed and Garden. We love decorating the store up and making it look festive and uh, exciting for the holidays. But our Christmas open house is coming up. It is on November the 17th and 18th and we'll have a lot of great deals, wonderful specials and just a lot of great ideas and inspiration for you to come up with something new to decorate your home with. But one of the fun things we do each year is our Christmas open house giveaway. We've got some great prizes that we'll be giving away this year. And uh, as usual, each prize has its own box. So our grand prize this year is a fully decorated Christmas tree, but we changed it up a little bit since it is our 75th anniversary. Instead of uh, us decorating a tree and giving it away, we actually came up with the idea that we would give you a budget to pick out the tree that you wanted and the ornaments that you wanted to go with it. And so we'll be giving away a design your own Christmas tree uh, worth up to about $1,500. You can design your own tree and, uh, and kind of customize it for, for yourself. Every time you make a purchase in the store, we'll give you an entry form to uh, participate in our drawing. And uh, there'll be a couple in the Herald Journal. There'll be one in the Hometown Values. So there's some free entries out there. So there's a lot of entries that you can decide which prize you want to go after. And this year, we've got a whole bunch of prizes that we'll be giving, we'll be giving away. So uh, first up, Mike Johnson has a, a, a gift card for a photography for a, a, a photography session and some photos. Beaver Mountain's giving away some ski passes. Uh, S.E. Needham Jewelers has a freshwater pearl necklace, $250 necklace we'll be giving away. Expercom gave us a remote controlled BB-8 Android that you can control with your Bluetooth device, which is really, really fun. Uh, Utah Festival Opera, a couple tickets to one of their shows and dinner. We've got uh, Firehouse Pizza has uh, one pizza a week for a year. So you can go into Firehouse and you can get a pizza a week for a year. Can't beat that. Waffle Iron's got a free uh, waffle a month for a year. Heritage Auto Group has uh, four oil changes um, to give away, which is a, a great uh, great price so you can uh, get your, your oil change four times. Uh, Logan Extermination is doing a tree pruning or a tree removal up to $350 so you can get a, a tree repaired or just take one out that you don't want anymore and then uh, of course Anderson Seeds giving away a Camp Chef pellet smoker and uh, also a fountain and uh, decorative chime and a raised garden bed as well as our fully decorated Christmas tree. So most of the prizes you've got to be here on the 18th at 5 o'clock when we do the drawing to participate but we do have a couple prizes that you don't have to be here so uh, we'd like you to be here for the big prizes but we've still got a couple entry boxes where you can put your entries in for uh, for those that can't be here at our event. So the event's a lot of fun. We get a lot of people here. It really gets you in the holiday spirit and it's uh, the week before Thanksgiving so don't forget our open house is the 17th and 18th of November. A lot of specials, a lot of great deals, uh, a lot of great things going on here at Anderson Seed during our open house. And especially don't forget about our Christmas open house drawing, which is at five o'clock on the 18th. And we'll be giving away a lot of great prizes.